I was just thinking about some of the possible causes of homosexuality. I'm not talking about homosexuality as a sexual act. I'm talking about one's sexual orientation. Okay, what makes someone attracted to those of the same sex instead of the opposite sex? And I think, personally, that it's a combination of both nature and nurture, where someone can be born with the predisposition to be bi, but their upbringing decides that uh, they're uh, either bi or gay. And some of it may have to do with, like, some of the reason why so many gay men are so effeminate, and some of them seem to completely lack, quite frankly, anything masculine, any masculine traits. And I think some of it could stem from, like, in their childhoods, who do they get bullied by? Why do they get bullied? And if someone gets treated like crap by people who are pushing some sort of sense of masculinity, whether it's decent masculinity or toxic masculinity, you know, I mean, you could say that it's toxic masculinity if it's being used to treat people like shit, right? Um, yeah, someone would say, well... Why would I want to act like they do? Why would I want to even be anything remotely like what these people are like? And it's that sort of thing that could uh, cement in someone being, you know, gay rather than bi. Um, I was thinking about this documentary from 2014 called Do I Sound Gay? And it was... Uh, he was trying, this guy was trying to research, you know, what is it that makes him sound gay? And he, he blatantly sounds gay. I mean, you just hear a couple words and, and purse, a purse falls out of his mouth, right? So he was trying to research exactly what it is. And in doing so, there were points in the documentary that I can't remember was whether it was a main character or another a secondary character in the movie, but uh, there was a point when uh, the person was being asked, you know, well, why don't you be more assertive or more aggressive? And the instinct of the person was just like, well, no, I can't be like that. That's That's bad. You don't want to act that way. That's... You know, they don't say it directly, but they're saying, oh, that's toxic masculinity. And I, I just find it kind of odd that it seems that there are so many gay men that have just completely thrown away masculinity. And in some ways, there's the demonization of it. You know, for people like myself, you know, I have spent so much of my life trying to perfect the uh, mannerisms of masculinity. I, I certainly haven't perfected actual masculine traits. I'm not very assertive. I'm not very aggressive. Um, I don't stand up for myself until it, it's until it's almost too late. Um, but I have masculine mannerisms down and masculine manners of speaking down. And some people, some gay men, especially the ones that are really feminine, who are sometimes uncomfortable around people who are really masculine, is this notion that I am perpetuating heteronormativity. And... I think that whole that word and the demonization of the of of heteronormativity is strange. You know, it's like heteronormativity basically means that heterosexuality is the norm. Heterosexual relations are the norm. 
uh, that a gender binary is the norm. And I'm just like, well, those things are the norm. Things that fall outside of that are not in the norm. That doesn't mean that they're bad. We shouldn't say that those things that fall outside of that are bad, but to try to claim that things that aren't, that statistically aren't normal, normal are normal, that's weird. I, I've never understood that push within a lot of, of, of activism. I don't get it. What, why, do you, why do you want to try to make it sound like something that statistically is not the norm is actually the norm? It, it's, it's, it's spitting in the face of reality, as far as I'm concerned, you know? Now, if the goal is to make it so, let's say, let's say there's some blockbuster movie, and, and maybe there'll actually be a movie like that where the main character is gay. And coming to a point where that can happen, but nobody makes a big deal about it, nobody significant complains about it, you know, it's just like, oh yeah, so what, there's a gay character, oh well, it doesn't matter. You know, if that's the goal, okay, that's fine. That's a decent goal. But one of the problems with, with a lot of this is... A lot of people seem to want, they want the spotlight, but as soon as they're given the spotlight, they're like, no, no, I don't want the spotlight. Well, then don't act like you want it. Well, no, I, I do want it, but I don't, but I do, but I don't. It's just like, make up your fucking mind. Do you want the spotlight or not? If you want to be viewed as everyone else, just like everyone else, then don't, don't purposely get in the spotlight. I don't know, there's just something kind of weird. I've never been able to wrap my mind around it. Um, but yeah, I think it would be good if, if you know, any time that there is a, a gay character in some sort of a game or a movie or something, yeah, that, that people wouldn't make such a big deal about it. Because the more you make a big deal about it, the more that people are going to say that we need to work harder at normalizing this stuff. You know? And then the more people will complain. So, seems to be a never-ending cycle, right? Now, I understand that there are, what is it, GLAD? Um wants there to be like, you know, one out of five characters being somewhere in the LGBT spectrum, LGBTQIAA, whatever the, the, the whatever it is now, right? Because they keep adding to it. Um, plus, 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 right? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that, that one out of five uh, uh, characters needs to be like that. I'm just like, well, that's not a realistic uh, statistic. That, that doesn't... It, it, if you want things to be more realistic, you it, then have it be, you know, the uh, somewhere between five and ten percent. But if you're pushing for twenty percent, no, that that's too much. That's that's not how it is in real life. You know, you may personally have a lot of gay friends and know a lot of gay people, but that doesn't mean that they take up twenty percent of the population. They they don't. We, we just don't. We, we, we are a minority. We aren't considered the norm on a statistical level. That doesn't mean we should be looked at poorly, but I don't know. It's just weird. It's weird. Um, I think we've come a long way. I'm proud of how far we've come. You know, I, I never dreamed when in the 1990s I never dreamed we'd actually see gay marriage. Never thought it'd actually happen. But there's a lot of things that I didn't think would actually happen, like, you know, the legalization of weed. I certainly didn't think it would happen in my lifetime, but that's that's coming right along. A lot of many states have have basically legalized it. In the house, they've uh 
they've pushed to federally legal, uh, to federally decriminalize it. Don't know if it will pass in the Senate, but uh, you know it, things are coming a long way in many areas. We should be happy about that. I guess I'm rambling. Thanks for watching.